So the next thing that we want to talk about is the turtle graphics. Now turtle graphics is really, it, we call it turtle graphics because when they first started doing this it was a cool program where they had a turtle that would travel around the screen and it would draw a picture or a line. Will somebody get that door? Uh, it would draw a picture or a line of the path that the turtle traveled. So um, we're going to learn how to move the turtle on the screen by using the turtle object. We can create graphics by using various properties and operations of the turtle. We could draw colorful designs by using the turtle object and then some for and for loops. So the turtle is a little turtle icon and we can make it show by using the command turtle.show and basically uh, in your graphics window You'll, there'll be a little turtle. And the way that this program works is, is wherever the turtle uh, shows on the screen, you make them move and you can turn them. And you could either draw or not draw. So you give commands to the turtle by using a turtle object. In turn, the turtle draws graphics on the screen. And so let's look at this. Uh, first thing, you can set the position of the turtle by doing turtle.x, and that's the number of pixels over, now this is uh, the uppermost left hand corner, this would be like zero, zero. And so X50 is 50 pixels in and Y200 would be like down here, roughly. So you're going to go up and over, but remember this is zero, zero up here. And so that's how you would do that. And then to move the turtle a particular distance in pickle, pixels, um, and pickles, huh? Uh, you would move, use the move operation, or you can move to a specific location on the screen by using the move to operation. So this one, the per the turtle is always going to have his head facing a certain way. If I just type in move 150, it moves whatever direction the turtle is facing, 150 pixels. If I put move to 50 comma 200, that's like x comma y it would move to 50, 200, okay? Now to draw with the turtle, you have to use the pen down operation, and when you want to stop drawing, you could use the pen up. So you could program the turtle to travel all over the screen and drop the pen down and draw in some spots, and then lift the pen back up and move the turtle to a different location and put the pen back down. <clears throat> all right, so, um, and those are the commands there, turtle, uh, turtle dot pen up and turtle dot pen down. I'm getting my letters, I'm verbally dyslexic. So let's look at more functions. Um, you can set the speed of the turtle from 0 to 10, where 10 is the fastest. So you would just say turtle dot speed equals, and then, uh, you know, 1 to 10. You can rotate the turtle by using the turn operation. You can turn right or turn left. If you say turn right or turn left, it just automatically turns to the left 90 degrees or turns right, okay? Um, if you just use turn, it automatically turns clockwise. The top of the screen would be zero degrees. 90 degrees would be to the right, 180 degrees, 270, and 360. You can turn the turtle to a specific angle of rotation by using the angle property um, and specify the angle of rotation by default. It always faces zero degrees, which is up towards the top of the screen. And so to make the turtle draw this triangle, what you could do is you create your graphic window, which has a width of 250 and the height of 250. And then the title is going to say Turtle Graphics, so that's where, I, where this comes from. We're going to start at 50 pixels to the right, so if we start here, we go 50 over and come down 200. Uh, the speed is going to be 5. We're going to move 150 pixels, so it starts here and moves up 150. Then we turn right and move 150 this way. And now we want to go back to our original location. So from there, we would say move to 50 comma 200, which is, by the way, where we started. And then, for good measure, we turn the turtle to face a 45 degree angle. So if this is 0 and this is 90, the turtle would face this way. So if I were to run this program in real time, the turtle would come up, turn 90 degrees, and then it would just turn whatever angle it needed to be at to draw this line and then reposition itself to that angle.
So now one thing we could do is we could insert a for loop and instruct the turtle to move and turn at specific uh, distances and angles and create unique uh, graphic designs. And you can also add color to your design by putting in the value of pen color in the property of uh, the text or the graphics window object. And so here's uh, some examples of some things you could do. And I wrote my own program that's a little different than this. But basically, you show the turtle. You put it at a specific location. You run the for n for loop. And it will choose a random color. And then it will move i units and then turn 90 degrees. And then so this is the first object. Whoops, let's go back. This is the first for n loop. And then for the second N4 loop, it says push the pen up. Whoops, sorry. It says push the pen up, and then it moves a certain unit over. And then it starts again, and it draws another triangle. Uh, in this case, though, when it turns, it turns 5 degrees. Or actually, it turns 120 degrees. And that's why it's got that little triangle, and it moves uh, a little bit further each time. So that's why we've got this little triangle size thing. Okay, or triangular shape. So we should be able to make the uh, turtle appear, move, and stop moving. We should be able to create uh, shapes by using various properties in the of the operation of the turtle object, and we could draw some colorful designs uh, with the turtle object by using for and n for loops. And so you should know, and and I'm going to do something similar to this, but we should be able to make a graphics window, put a title in it randomly choose some colors and make the turtle move around the screen and draw some cool pictures. Okay, So let's do that. I've uh, written a program. And so let me tell you what this does before we run it. Starts the graphics window that says turtle graph. Uh, the dimensions of my window is 600 by 800. I'm going to set the turtle speed to 8. And then I'm going to start uh, 10 pixels to the right and go down 600 pixels. And then I'm going to start with the uh, angle of the turtle at 10 degrees. Um, then I've got my 4 and 4 loop. So I'm going to let A equal 1 to 100. So every time it like circles through that loop, um, that's what we'll, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll do it 100 times, basically. And then what we're going to do is each time it runs through the loop, we're going to let it randomly choose a color. Okay. Then we're going to put our pen down to draw, and we're going to move. The first one will be um, 70 pixels minus 0.5. I'm just going to do something like, uh, let's do, no, 0.5 is fine. And then what it'll do, it is it'll turn 8 degrees. So it'll turn more and more degrees as we keep going. Okay. Maybe I should do A divided by 2. I don't know. We'll see. So when I hit run, this is what we'll see. And so what the turtle is doing, it'll go off screen for a second. The turtle is at it, each line is the beginning and ending of that for loop. It chooses a new color. It changes the length. It changes the angle. And after it's drawn 100 lines at 100 different uh, colors, uh, then it'll stop. That's it. Project and